My name is Hen Sabri. I started acting in Tunisia when I was 14, um, and I came here to pursue this acting career. I have been um, labeled as a serious actress, between brackets maybe, because I started with very powerful performances, uh, either in Tunisia or in Egypt, and I started with um, daring movies uh, compared to the average um, Arab movie. In the Yakubian building, one of the, one of the most important uh, Egyptian movies of the decade, I was portraying a, a very poor girl living on the roof of a downtown building in Cairo, symbolizing all those working girls, those girls who need, who want to get dressed, who want to go out, who want a car, who want, who want, who want. And the only, uh, their only path is either education or prostitution. One of my ambitions is to break a taboo every time I make a movie. Uh, because I believe that breaking taboos is the most healthy thing you can do uh, in such a closed society. Our problem, I think, is our uh, auto-censure, I don't know how to say it in English, uh, auto-censorship. We censor ourselves. Um, a, a day in Cairo or a night in Cairo can produce so many movies, so many films. You can see so many scenes that are so interesting visually. The thing is, young filmmakers are still scared, are still afraid to talk about them. Why? I don't think it's because of an exterior censorship. I mean, censorship exists everywhere and it is strong in the Arab world, but you can always uh, be smart and try to go around censorship. This is what we still need to learn. We still, Arab cinema needs more flexibility and needs more reality. We're still in the dream, we're still in the star system, we're still in the, oh, look how, how beautiful our stars are, look how beautiful our actresses are. Um, we're still in the Bollywood syndrome. And Tunisia is a very advanced country in, in, a ma in the matter of uh, women rights. So I have this perspective to talk about it because I live in the Arab world, I go all around the Arab world and I represent my, my country, I represent the Tunisian woman and the Tunisian woman is a very emancipated woman, a very free woman. There's no polygamy in Tunisia, there is no, uh, I mean, women can work without the per permission of their husbands or their tutor. So yes, it, it, it's, I'm lucky and that's why I have the freedom and the liberty and the education and the awareness to talk about it on screen.